All right, people, so here's what I wanted to show you guys. There's there's another way to make passive income in the game. And uh, by that, I mean, uh, there's another way to basically increase your value uh, through a means that you didn't know, right? Uh, so what I do commonly is uh, when I get too much rubles, I filter those through into American College. And uh, how I do that is basically by buying stuff like these. This is your SAS drive and your secure flash drives. Now you need these for quests early on and you can use these for trade items as well, but that's not where the real value comes from. Uh, once you get these finished throughout your experience in Tarkov, once you're done with all the quests, these items actually can net you quite a bit of money. And uh, I'm gonna show you how. So as you can see right here, the this SAS drive right here sells for 266 American dollars to Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is the only person that will buy this, right? And this is the value of this item. So it's 266, which comes to the grand total of 28,728 rubles. Now, if we were to filter by item, you will see that all of these sell for under 28,000. So what we're doing is we're going to convert all of this into American dollars up to a certain point, right? So 28,728 is our breaking point. So that last one we just purchased is worth 700 rupees. It's not a lot of money. It doesn't seem like it, but over time it all adds up. Uh, the next thing that we like to do is if we go back to the flea market again. If we get rid of this and we go to our flash drives, Ah, look at that, already there. Uh, we're going to remove barter items. Now, the flash drive currently sells for 587 American to, you know, Peacekeeper. And if we were to do the math on that, 587 American dollars is worth 63,398 rubles. As you can see, these people don't know this. And the same stupid, right? But when you guys get to end game, what actually ends up happening is you have a plethora of rubles and you'll see most people won't have any American. Now, why is this important? Well, this is important because when, when you get to end game, end game is basically level 33, right? 33 for Peacekeeper. And the reason, I think it's 33 or 32. And the reason I'm saying end game is because of this ammo. This ammo is what the, the subject for this video is actually going to be about. And uh, most of this ammo is the ammo that you're gonna use to kill geared players. And with that, this ammo sells really well. So you're converting all of this this free income into American dollars, and then you're going to be turning it into rubles through buying and selling this ammo, which is also the ammo that is used to kill players with high-end gear. Um, with that being said, so as I was saying before, these are all worth 73,000 or 63,398 if you do the math. That's uh, basically 587 USD times 108, right? So we buy these out, we're basically making 6K rubles per right now. And all the ones we bought earlier, are, we're making even more. And we got that page is bought out. So anything past this is not worth it. You're losing money. This also influences how much these value-wise are gonna be sold to Peacekeeper because every week or who knows how many days it takes, they're gonna reevaluate what is the value of these items? And then it's gonna adjust the price. That's why the, uh, the rounds are starting to go up so much because the supply is low and the demand is high. So that's why um, M995 is almost $15 a round now because the supply is so low and the demand is so high, right? Um, all right, so with that, all of these flash drives and SAS drives are gonna be turned into money 
that we're going to use for ammo and for our weapons. Because most of the majority of the weapons that I personally use are American-made. And, I mean, every raid I survive, which I've, I've survived the last eight raids, I've made one million per raid, basically, is what it equates to after every time I survive a raid, I make a million rubles. So with this kit that you're seeing me wearing right now, this kit right here you're seeing me wear is over a million. However, if, if I survive two or three raids in a row with this kit, using what I consider better gear than most, or the best gear, if I survive a raid with this, I'm going to make this value in one raid, right? I run most games solo, and there's a lot of reasons I run solo as opposed to large groups, because large groups do give some security, but it also gives you a bigger footprint, meaning like other teams will be able to figure out where you're at easier, because you're going to make more noise and all those other things. So it, there's pros and cons for doing solo, uh, solo and duos and big five-man teams. There's, there's a bunch. Um, however, if you're running in a big team, you should be running all the best gear that you got because you want to increase your survivability. Just like even solo, I would do the same. All right, let's get on to how to make money through vendors and through players in psychology. All right, so the next thing I want to cover with you guys on how to make uh, money in Tarkov is using traders to actually, when you, when you don't want to sell everything on the flea market, and uh, how to make max money, like the max money potential out of your trader, right? Um, here's another thing that a lot of people don't know when you're first starting out, and it is that med supplies and rare items are going to sell to therapists for the most amount of money, right? So let's go over here and pull out some more examples real quick. Now, there's reasons for all of these things being in here over that maybe at another time uh, most of them are actually for trade-in items so if you were to go to therapists you'll see that therapists will buy bitcoins for 143k he buys clocks for 473k he buys gold chains for 28 these you know for 5k whatever um however if you were to go to anyone else, this is how you get the most value out of your rare item. Now, if you were to go to Skier, Skier will buy none of those rare items. Proper will, but at 40k less, or a higher percentage less than what uh, therapist will buy, right? And as you can see with the weapons as well, he'll buy the SK or the SA58 for 58,000. Um, we'll buy the armor for 68, helmets for 110. So like if you look and you compare, so before you sell your item, and you break them down, look at what each vendor will actually pay for you, so that you are not just selling your items to whoever. If you want to get more bang for your buck, like see, look, gold chains are 8K less, sell them to proper. If you want more bang for your buck, you need to actually look and see where they actually sell to. Like, so look at this, if you were to look and the traders right now, you'll see that there are a lot of these SA58s that sell for a lot less than what this is valued at. And uh, I'll show you how to make the most money out of this gun right here by simply just stripping it and selling it to other players. Or not other players, but vendors and then to players. So right now, we'll go over that actually. So we'll go back, we'll go character, bring this here. We're gonna strip this down completely. Everything that can be removed that does not make it inoperable. See, it can still be sold. So what we will do now is we'll go trading. Go so Skier. Skier will buy all of your parts that are like can be added to your weapon for functional, like for functional, functional ability. He will buy most of those, like your sights. He'll buy for more than everyone else, right? So like the PK-06, he pays 8,300 for it. The mechanic will only pay you 7,000, right? But the mechanic will also buy your buffer tubes and all these Americanized things. 
whereas skier won't. So right now we're gonna make 300, so that's 8,000, 9,000, 9,100. We go to mechanic, we'll sell these for another 10,000, right? So this is 20K rubles we've made just off of stripping this gun down to the bare bones. That's 20K. And now we can go to the flea market and we can filter this. Well, first go back to trading. We'll see how much mechanic will buy this gun stripped down. 41,000, right? So if you guys look at that, we've already basically made a thousand-ish rubles just off of doing that. However, we can make even more. And uh, you can actually sell this for roughly around 50,000 as it is in its current state. Or if you want to make even more money, you can throw this up for 500 to 550 USD. And then you're going to make, you know, 500 times 108 rubles because that's what the current value of the American dollar is. So if we filter by item, yeah, we're going to exclude barter offers, show only functionable. Now you're seeing these sell for 48,000 and you can do the same thing with these. You can strip them. You get, you got to figure out which weapons you can do this with. and it takes experience to playing the game and actually doing this and sometimes losing money, sometimes making money. But once you play the game enough, you realize what you can buy and what you can sell, right? For the most value. Um, so you, as you can see right now, all of these have been posted for roughly around 54K. Now, if we were to sell this for 500 American, which is what I normally do after I strip them of all their parts, this will sell and then we will actually end up making do 500 times 108 we're making 54k and this will actually sell before any of the other weapons that are selling for that similar value because what people do is like a psychological so they say people value rubles for more in the game than they value the american dollar and the reason for that is, is they see 54,000 rubles and they're like oh that's too much a 500 American is that's like very less a lot less right so they'll be like well let me buy this for 500 American because the number is smaller than the 54,000 ruble and people generally in this game like to see more rubles than they like to see anything else right because most of the items in game are bought for rubles if that makes any sense that's they're like man i can't wait to get the 30 million rubles or you know whatever these numbers are that they're looking for well in all reality they're actually spending more than they're anticipating because they're not looking at what the current value for the american dollar is